Hi all, welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I shall be discussing with you two English grammar topics. The one is homophones and the other is homograph. I will also tell you that when should you introduce these two topics to your children if you are homeschooling them or even if you are a teacher. So if this is something that interests you, be with me till the end of the video. And if you are interested in English grammar, English phonics, English spelling rules and the basic maths curriculum, this channel is just for you. If you are new here, subscribe it now. Don't forget to click the notification bell and it's time to dive in. So let's begin with homophones. Homophones are words with same pronunciation but different meanings and spellings. The name also suggests that homo means same and phone means sound. So the words that have same sounds mean same pronunciation but different meanings and spelling. For example, C and C. This C means to look somewhere and this C mean a body of water. You can introduce homophones to a first grader, but be careful, keep it simple. And as the grade advances, you can give a variety of or a number of homophones to children and ask them to use them in their sentences while speaking and while writing as well. So come on, let's see a list of some common homophones and then I will tell you that what are homographs and when should you introduce homographs to kids. So here's a list of some common homophones. To, to the preposition that we use for direction, I'm going to the bank and number two with TWO, different spellings, same pronunciation and different meanings. B, the verb B, I want to be a doctor and B with B double E, the honey bee. C, to look somewhere, S double E C, and C, a body of water, S E A C. I, the personal pronoun I, which means that you are referring yourself, and I, the body part I. Been, again, a verb, the third form of the verb be, I have been to America, and been, the dust bin in which you throw the trash. Then we have a word buy. Buy means to buy something. When you are doing some purchasing, you buy something. And then we have a preposition buy. Sit by my side. Or the word buy when you are saying goodbye to someone. Buy. The pronunciation is same, but the spellings are different and the meanings as well. Then we have one, number one, and the word one, the verb when you won something. I won the race. Pale, p ale, pale, a bucket used for water, and pale, a color. It is a very light shade of yellow. Mostly it is used for the skin color. Your skin is pale. Then we have a very common word, sun, as you and sun. Like father, like son, spelled with S-O-N, different meanings, different spellings, but same pronunciation. Then we have the word eight, the second form of the verb eat. And the number eight, steel, a metal, you can have a steel watch, you can have a steel uh, handle, a steel cupboard. And we have another steel that is a verb, when you are stealing something you are taking someone else belonging without permission it is also called a steal if i say it in urdu or hindi means chori karna okay to steal something then we have the word heal it means to cure if you have got a wound and it is fine now so you would say it's healing or it has healed then we have this heal the body part the back part of the foot is called heel. Four, F-O-U-R-4, four, the number four, and F-O-R-4 four used as a preposition. I'm going for shopping. Then we have a word meat. Meat is used for any kind of meat, either chicken, either beef or mutton. Meat means the flesh of animals that we can eat. And then we have 
meet with double e it means to accompany someone to have a meeting with someone meet and meet only the long vowel spelling is changed and the meaning is changed of the word the next word is wear go and wear your dress and wear the question word used for asking about the position where are you sell a battery cell and sell when you sell something on the shop i sell puppets on my stall no if you have an idea about something or you have some previous knowledge about something you say i know it and we have another word with the same pronunciation which means no and you already know the meaning of this right if you restrict somebody to do something if you forbid somebody to do something you say no don't do this no you are not allowed to then the word is rose the flower rose and we have an other word with the same pronunciation but different spelling and meaning rose the children are sitting in rows the horizontal lines are called rows it could be rows in the class it could be rows in auditorium it could be the rows if you are solving a math equation row and column so these were a few examples of homophones now let's find out what are homographs and few examples of homographs too so here is a chart that will guide you about homographs homo means same and graphs means symbols or letters it means that homographs are the words that have same spellings means same letters or sa same symbols but homographs have two types the first is homonyms and the second is heteronyms now what are homonyms homonyms are the words that have same spellings and same sound but yes their meanings are different for example the word bat b a t bat it could be a baseball bat it could be a cricket bat and the animal bat the spelling of both words is same the pronunciation is same but the meanings are quite different whereas in heteronyms we only have same spellings but the pronunciation of the word and the meanings both are different for example the word t e a r if you want to say the liquid that we release from our eyes the pronunciation will be tear t r and if you want to say something that is rip off then this word will be pronounced as tear t and air tear this is t and ear tear and this is t and air tear so heteronyms are a bit complicated and we introduce heteronyms in grade 5 homonyms can be introduced to a third and fourth grader but for heteronyms wait till grade 5 and then introduce these words to get so now it's time to show you a list of some common homonyms and then we shall move on to heteronyms list so here is a list of some homonyms same spelling same sound but different meanings the first one is pen and pen this pen mean a cage for animals and pen with which we write ruler the scale the ruler that we use in our stationery and then we have the ruler who is a king tie when you tie a knot when you bind something and then we have the word tie it's a noun it means something that we wear in our neck in our collar then we have a word can it's a modal verb used for ability that i can do it i cannot do it same spelling same pronunciation can but the meaning is a can of cold drink a can of chickpeas a can of anything then we have a word nail n a l nail it means this uh, nail and hammer and nail same spelling same sound different meanings the nails of our fingers the word is 
watch the watch that we wear in our wrist and watch as a verb if you are watching a football match or you are watching TV. So both these words same, same spelling, same pronunciation but are different in meanings. The next word is letter, the letter that you receive through mail and letter A, B, C, D. Letter B is the second letter of English alphabet. The next word is band, band a musical band and band it could be a hair band or a wristband, a friendship band, anything like this. The next word is park, a noun where children play a name of a place. And park, a verb. You can park your car here. Fly, a noun, a house fly. And fly, a verb. I want to fly up high. Palm, a noun. This is my palm. Okay, this side of your hand is called palm. And a palm tree. It could be a coconut palm. It could be a date's palm. Then we have the word right. This right means direction turn right and this is again right it means that you are correct or something is correct it's right sink when something is not floating it's drowning it is sink it's a verb and we have sink the place where we wash our dishes sink the next word is date today is 13th of may 2022 this is the date and the fruit date color orange orange color and fruit orange orange fruit last word is light a light bulb and light the opposite of heavy a light feather so this was a short list for homonyms now let's move on to the list of heteronyms so this is the last part of the video and here you will find a short list of heteronyms and as I have told you that heteronyms are words with same spelling but different pronunciation and meanings. They are a little complicated and the right time to introduce heteronyms is grade 5. So let's have a quick look at this list. The first word is close. Can you please close the door? Close, the opposite of open. Here letter S is saying the Z sound. It's a verb. The heteronym is close with the sound. It's an adjective, the opposite of far. His house is close to mine. The next word is tear and tear. Tear is the liquid that comes out from our eyes and tear mean to rip something. A tear is a noun and tear is a verb. The next word is lead. It's a verb and then the word is lead. It's a noun. It's an element. We have lead in our pencils. Okay, the grayish uh, thing with which we write is lead. The next word is content and content. Content. Here we have the stress on this part, on this syllable. Content are things that are inside something like um, the content of a book. Or the content of my YouTube channel. I'm a content creator. And then content. Here this part is unstressed. This syllable is unstressed. And tent is a stress. Content. It's a verb. It means to be satisfied. I'm contented. Then this word. It's desert. And it's desert. 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 In this one, we have the stress on the second syllable, desert. Here we have the stress on the first syllable, desert. Desert is a noun. It's a place with rough weather, hard and harsh, with no water and greenery most of the time. So, uh, like the Middle East is full of deserts. And desert means to leave, to leave someone like the man deserted his family and went to deserts, right? The next word is alternate. It's a verb. It means to switch between two things. Like I alternated between a uniform and a casual dress in the workshop. Then we have the same spelling but different pronunciation, alternate. 
alternate. Here this vowel is saying the schwa sound, alternate. And it is used as a noun or as an adjective. Like do you have any alternate dress? Do you have any alternate singer? He is my alternate. Okay. So the difference of pronunciation lies here. Alternate and alternate. Then we have a word separate or separate. Separate, separate. Separate is an adjective. We have two separate rooms for girls and boys. And then separate is a verb. It means, can you please separate these papers? It means to divide the papers or to sort out the papers. Like if the papers are mixed up, yellow and blue papers are mixed up. So somebody is asking you to separate them. Okay. The next word is bow and bow. Bow is simply the bow on your dress. And bow means to bend down. Uh, showing respect to someone like the Chinese and Japanese people bow down to show respects to other right the next word is minute and minute minute is a noun it is simply the 60th part of an hour in an hour we have 60 minutes and minute is an adjective it means smallest I just made some minute changes minute right here you is saying it's you sound then we have the word dove it's a noun the name of a bird and the verb dove the past of dive he dove into the pool the next word is live it's a verb i live in uk live here this e is just to support the v because english words don't end in v so the word is live and its heteronym is live I is saying the long I sound. It's an adjective. Something that is happening right at the moment. Like the concert was live. It means that the bands were playing right at that moment. The songs were not recorded. Or the president will give a live speech at 5. It means that he will be speaking directly to the public. The speech would not be recorded. The next word is wind and wind. Wind, when the wind blows faster, when the air blows faster. So it is called the wind. Simple pronunciation and it's a noun. The heteronym is wind. Here it is saying it's long sound that is I. Wa, I, and wind. Letter I and O may say their long sounds before two consonants. If you want to learn this rule, you'll find it in the description box. Wind means to roll something like, could you please wind this wire? And we also use it commonly in the phrasal verb like wind up. It means to finish, to just complete something. Let's wind up the work for today. Wind up. Hmm, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you have got something useful from it. If yes, so please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I shall see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget... To make it a great day. Bye.